Ladies and gents, welcome. My name is Wasmatic. I'm not going to waste any of your time talking about who I am or what I do. It's all in the links in the description below. Um, I will ask one thing. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel and if you find this video useful or any of my other videos, then please give it a like and a share. Um, I'll ask again at the end of the video, so if you found the information useful, you can reconsider your subscription. So today we're going to talk about basically improving your travel time. Uh, this is incredibly useful for those really laborious PvP faction runs where you're trying to flip a region and you have to, let's uh, say you're in Morning Morningdale, for example, and I know certainly for Syndicate, <clears throat> you have to run from here all the way up here. Uh, I think do you go this way. I think sometimes you go this way or this way. You go around here and then back down and it's uh, a lot of time running. I'm going to save you some of that time running. We're going to learn how to maximize your XP, time getting XP, time getting faction, influence, whatever you like. Okay. And it is really, really simple, but um, it's a trick that I know a lot of PVPers are using. PVPers are using for their faction influence grinds and uh, I'm going to share it with you if you don't already know it. So you need two things. You need rapier at least to level 10, ideally 11, and you need fire staff to level 9. And this is how we travel. So um, a quick caveat again. If you're doing PvP faction missions and you're flagged and these are your off-spec weapons and you purely, like me, because my main weapons are sword and uh, life staff, I've only taken these weapons to the level I've got them to, I think it's 11 and 9, for my travel. So I use these to travel quickly. And um, if you get caught in a PvP fight, you at least have the ability to pop away quickly and then just have your weapons here. You can double-click, double-click double click and then drag and you're done okay that should be gemmed but i got a new this new sword this morning so what you do is um you start off with either your fire staff or your uh rapier and you uh, let's look at the fire staff first so you work down um i don't know why i took this oh it's because i was grinding so if you're going to grind up the fire staff take this so you get mana back because the fire staff can drain mana really quickly and uh, reduce fire staff cooldowns. That's just because I was grinding. Here's the skills that you want. You want this skill just to get you down to here. Uh, this is holding a fire staff and below 50% max damage is increased by 20%. You could get any of these, this top line here, either that or that, it's just to get you to the next line. The next line I've taken whenever burn deals damage, gain 10% fortify for two seconds. Again, you could get, if you've taken that one, you could get this one you know, or this one. It's really just to get to here, which is burnout. Dash through targets, dealing 129% weapon damage on hit. Passing through a target will catch the target on fire. Apply a burn that deals 10% weapon damage each second for 8 seconds. You take the next one just to get to the bottom. Cooldowns are reduced by 5% for each foe hit by burnout. You don't want to bother about that because you're only using this to travel. And then the last one is burnout goes 50% further. Okay? And then you take this. When you activate a fire staff ability, gain 10% haste for five seconds. That gives you a slightly faster run speed. Okay. Then what you want to do is you take rapier. And what you want in rapier is two of these. This is why you got more points. You don't have to do this one if you don't want. I have it because it's a nice to have. Um, that I took because uh, I was grinding out the uh, weapon. This is uh, evade, perform a small reliable sidestep in your current movement direction that cancels any current activity and provides momentary invulnerability, blah, 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 blah. Okay, you can use that moving forward and it's a very short cooldown. So it's this. Okay, so, uh, whoops, wrong button. So you have that from your rapier. You then go the next one down, gain 20 stamina immediately on use. Don't really bother about that. You're taking this. Gain 20% movement speed for three seconds on use. Okay? That's great. And then you want flesh or fleshy. I don't know how you pronounce it. Leave the ground lunging forward for 10 meters. In a stabbing motion, piercing through enemies, dealing 145% weapon damage. Killing this ability reduces its cooldown by 80%. That's important because we'll come on to that in a minute. I, I don't know why I took these, right? <laughs> so, so perhaps you don't need the full 11 points. But... Um, the important ones are taking that and that. This is uh, your next critical. 
Like Italian is yeah, okay, so you don't really need those two, but you do need this one, which is plus three percent haste for four seconds on any hit. Any hit and can stack up to five times. So that's really useful because and I'm guessing that somebody's killed the turkey. I had perfectly positioned here to demonstrate this point. Here we go. Right, so you'll see the cooldown for flesh flesh now if I just pop this. See the cooldown? And it's back again. Now there was another turkey here. Pop that. Back again. You'll also see I've got haste because that's triggered. Okay. And it's back again. If I use that on when I'm running. Like I missed that turkey there. So you can see now I've got a 15 second cooldown. So that's a bit of a pain in the bum. Okay. We go back to the fire staff. That's quite a distance. Okay, and then we swap back to this. Now what I normally do is I do that plus that. And then keep going. And then swap back to the fire staff. Okay, back to burnout. Swap to the rapier. Do that plus that. You get the uh, the haste again. Now if you do that and you, like, you can just keep doing that for the haste. You do get a momentary lapse in the time after performing that okay which is why i do it in this order let me get the names right i'm terrible for the names i do evade first and then flesh or flesh air. so you do away with that secondary uh, that one second thing and you have the haste for a few seconds then back to the fire staff okay and this very simply is how you always oh, going to run away. This is how you uh, dramatically reduce your travel time. There you go. So I've got haste now, and uh, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I run through the skills again, so you know what to do. But this will significantly reduce your travel time, uh, and it's particularly useful when doing PvP, uh, PvP faction runs. If you're running PvP faction missions and you use this ability to get around the map. It will massively reduce your running time. It will massively reduce uh, the time to do your faction missions. And that means you're farming your influence a lot faster. Now you imagine a large group all with this kind of build. These are secondary weapons for me. So like I've said, my primary weapon is the life staff. My secondary weapon is the sword and board. I literally just use these two to travel. So I'm going to go through again, just so we're abundantly clear. You need to take evade. You need to take breathe in. And you need to take Allegro. 20% movement speed. Okay. Um, that's nice to have. You don't have to have it. You also need to take Flesh. Or Fleshy. I still don't know how to pronounce that. Let me know in the comments below if you do. And Quick Lunge. Killing with this ability reduces its cooldown by 80%. That is, if you see a rabbit or a turkey, bomb through it and it's just reset. So you get a double, double bubble on that one. And then Fire Staff. Um... I would suggest taking that to level it. Um, you could do this one of two ways. If you use it to, le if you level the secondary weapon with your main weapon, because what I did is I used life staff and rapier to level, and then I used life staff and uh, fire staff to level. Um, if you just kill with this, like with one weapon you're trying to level up, you'll get double the XP. If you use the main weapon, like I did, if I started an initiated combat with a fire with a a life staff, which is my main weapon, and then finished off combat with a rapier, I would get half. I would get half the um, half the XP. So uh, I would suggest taking that to level up. Um, and then you want one of these to be able to get further down the tree. I've taken that to get further down the tree. It's just nice to have. You get fortify. And then you want this burnout all in to get to heat it up. And then you want that. Activate a fire staff, gain 10% haze for 5 seconds. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is it. It is the um, the best way I have found to massively reduce your running time, particularly on things like PvP faction missions where you can't use fast travel at all. You have to run them. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that's been useful. If you are going to do your PvP faction grind, particularly grinding influence in regions, definitely use this to get around and then when you get to your combat bits just swap the weapons in and out and that's it thank you very much for watching i did say i would ask you at the end of the video if you would consider subscribing it really helps small content creators like me grow 
Uh, really appreciate the support. If you haven't checked out my fishing guide video, that's been really popular. That's in the top right of the screen now. Give it a click if you like, and I will see you all in the next one, I hope. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.